Alizon, how's it going? Lord Firestorm? Going pretty well over here, guys. Oh, got a little bit of Factorio in today. Um, I'm really trying to expand and get better at uh, having little outposts away from my main base and, you know, building stuff out there. And, man, it's a time-consuming game. <laughs> but it's it's a lot of fun. So that's what I was up to earlier. And I was watching a movie and wanted to finish that before I got this stream in. But So I got the... Uh, the save file edited finally, so that uh, when the month finishes here, we're going to have the correct score. So, go ahead and get started. There we go. That's more like it. With a pretty nice bonus at that. Alright, and then we have our improved laboratory. We need 200 Tritanium, or Alien Alloys, and 100 Alarium. To build it so we're gonna have to uh, get that set up we can now research gunship and auto cannon but hope your guys' day is going well so far I uh, I took my car in yesterday to get something looked at that has been going on for a while now and they believed they would have gotten the diagnostic done before the end of the day and I never got a call back, so uh, and I had to call off work today. <laughs> so I figured I'd go ahead and take advantage of that and uh, get some streaming in for you guys. Well, go for that. Why not? Oh man, that's pretty cool. Oh, good luck for that. And that's awesome. I had a couple of IT interviews and... Uh, well, oh, that's right. They uh, didn't work out. Okay, so we need... Was it 150? I forgot already. Oh, just 100. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. About eh, five and a half years ago, I think, I had a interview at the public library in town. To, uh, it was some kind of IT position. I mean, basically, you ran all the computer stuff there. And uh, I thought it went pretty well. I even had a recommendation from someone that worked there. But uh, apparently family got hired instead so that was a bummer that was quick but uh yeah whatever i'm finally doing something that's pretty interesting to me now so i guess it's all right phantom menace up until now we referred to the alien menace as invasion but perhaps we were in the wrong. Secret deals, terrorist attacks, dissemination of tech, these are not the tools of conquest. Maybe the aliens disapprove of the concept of war, maybe they just don't understand it, or maybe they simply do not have the means to attack the Earth openly? Or maybe they want it intact for their unfathomable plans. Whatever the case, we should not think of the alien forces as an army, otherwise we'd probably all be knee-deep in corpses by now. They operate like a political group, trying to achieve their objectives through means of diplomacy. Quite a shocking realization, isn't it? Why are you looking at me with such disbelief, Commander? I'm not your envoy, just because of my good looks. Yeah, and you know, I can't exactly blame that, even though that's technically illegal, but, you know... Yeah, uh, you want to help your family, and I can understand that. It just kind of stunk, because uh, I was kind of in a bad spot work-wise at the time. Uh, 
Hybrid control circuitry. This incredibly complex piece of machinery is like a telephone exchange, but for psionics. It stores data of all existing hybrids, including their unique psionic imprints, and helps direct a psionic message towards that particular agent. By sending emotion waves, the device communicates to the hybrids whether their masters are pleased with them or not. It also has built-in software for recognizing patterns that indicate a hybrid may revolt and go rogue. The device was meant for absolute oppression, but now we can use it for good to easily find hybrids who would be willing to betray their creators. Cool. Well, looks like we're about ready to get hybrids recruited. That's pretty sweet. Let's go after some leaders. Dreaming. Dreaming is a mental technique which allows the practitioner to enter meditative... Oh. Probably to enter a, right there, a meditative trance, to explore their own mind, while the details of how I don't know how it, how it works remain unclear. It seems to connect the brain to some external medium dubbed dreamscape, allowing full manifestation of the subject inside their own dream. That was a scary movie, by the way. Dreamscape. This is a dangerous process, since the dreamer is exposed to various natural forces governing the dreamscape, meaning that any damage taken in the dream causes mental deterioration and possibly death. Dreaming is a solitary mission, since one cannot take others with them to their own dreams. Naturally, the same applies to physical items. You cannot take anything with you or bring anything back. However, there are exceptions. Certain psionic items can attune themselves to the dreamer and manifest in their possession inside the dream. And there are some very rare instances of dream objects capable of being recreated in reality using the dreamer's life force, like regeneration. If you wake up in a dream, you will be armed with a so-called dream blade, a manifestation of your psionic powers, which are your only defense against the inhabitants of the strange world. Therefore, only well-trained psionics should take part in such missions, unless you bring a different weapon with you. Hmm. Well, that's intriguing. Alright, our whole five scientists. Optronics. Optronics are enhanced electronics that use light rather than electronics to carry the information and are therefore much faster and more power efficient. Alien AI unit? Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? I said they're going southwest. Nice. Okay. Uh, we're missing a heavy weapons platform. Everyone's good. What are we looking on rockets or missiles? Oh, that base is good.
probably should get a craft here. Day in four hours and good stuff purchased over here. One of those, a bunch of those, two of those, and yeah, that should be fine. All righty. Probably use the motion scanner as well. Probably have to just go ahead and equip another one on the craft. I think that's everything. of in the middle. Hmm. Ah. And we have floaters. He's not looking at us, so don't have to worry about reaction fire. What's he carrying? Plasma rifle. Dang, that hit? Cool, that did zero. Um Step out. Yeah, I was trying to see if I can hit with that being carried, but it's looking like not really. guys don't have size sense, so grenades might actually, or uh, smoke grenades might actually work, but now that I think about it, I don't think I have any equipped. Nice. bit of reaction fire just in case.
and probably hang out over here and get ready to come out. Um, I don't think so. Ouch. Um, I'm just saying that, uh, like, smoke doesn't really work against, like, sectoids, because they can still see you with their psi sense. So, with floaters, um, I wouldn't have to worry about that, so I could potentially use smoke, but, um, I don't, I don't think anyone has it equipped. I think that's an angle that can't be hit. Okay, he can be hit. He's only stunned? Jeez. Scoot over one and kind of overwatch that direction with him. These guys can go ahead and come on this way. And hopefully not get shot at from above. No, let's do that just to be safe. Move the dog. <laughs> okay, I think that's everybody. Get him. You don't see him? That's pretty interesting. My plasma pistol, that guy's not gonna really be an issue. Let's get an auto shot in, like a forced shot. See if we can maybe clear up that wall a little bit. And the roof. Do you have a shot now? <laughs> That's the next one. Okay. Now what? Oh my goodness, game. Larium this time. Okay. It looks like we're probably going to have to hold off a turn before we shoot at that one. I 
was a close shot. here. Probably this wall right here. I didn't see anything else flashing. Okay, that works. be a nice spot right here 95 percent yep even do that Ooh. okay maybe not kneeling's uh saying that's blocking the line of fire Good enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Whoa. <laughs> I just realized it's kind of like uh, really blocked off there. Kind of like a little hidden thing. That's pretty neat. Let's go and scoot up a little bit then. Like a like a fort. Hmm. You might be able to shoot through that. Maybe. Scoot back one. Nice shot. There we go. Whew. Okay. Plus one reactions for that. Navigator. Mm. Might be able to transfer. Alrighty. Cattle mutilation reported. Change armor. 
Okay, there shouldn't be men in black here. Try to get through this pretty quickly. something like this. Nice reactions. One down. doesn't count for reactions. Oh, wherever that guy is, he's hidden pretty well. There we go, plus one to reactions for Rob. Nice mission. Cool, Raven's done. And... Do we have any rusters available? Yes. stuff. Hmm. I 
I'm gonna have a craft here. I should probably... have a uh, radar. There we go. Cool. Cool. Okay, 26 days left on that. Uh, let's see. Let's not buy all the scientists yet. We'll buy 10 more. Then that'll be done, which is another 25, so we can buy 35 for now. Okay, and then... Eh, whatever. Oh, okay. Alright, personal armor back on for the, uh... creatures. Okay. Strange life form. Gosh. Yeah. I've been botching that for a while. to put an additional motion scanner on this craft. Oops. Alright, what are we dealing with, guys? We are dealing with the giant beetles. Oh, is this new? Or did I just never look at these guys before? Chemical damage for the bite, huh? Nice. Oh, we killed a different one. That's that's the one I shot at. We killed a different one. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Where can we spot that guy? I think it was right there. And that's it. Oh, oh, we had three civilians, too. <laughs> wow. Good job, Loki. Plus three time units. Yeah, let's go again. Nighttime mission this time. All right. Okay. 
dog. Uh oh. We're not seeing anything. Yeah, I can't wait to get that. The, uh... I mean, the armor value goes down a little bit, but being able to float above everything, I mean, it'll definitely make these even easier. Especially, like, against Chupacabra and all that. Man, yeah, I can't wait. Because then you can really train your agents. around this corner. Wouldn't put it past zombies to be hiding out somewhere back here. I think that was everybody. Ooh, excuse me. Get him. Shooting guys. <clears throat> Someone ran by right here. Hey, dude. Not enough. You can see him from there. Just L. Okay. How are we seeing this guy? Oh, wait. He can see him. He can see him. Wow. So the. Okay. So keep this in mind, guys. Your personal lighting affects the game, not just making it convenient for the player. So, that's probably why a lot of my night missions didn't go so well, because I had personal lighting turned on, not realizing that that actually affected it. It's good to know. Well, heck, knowing that, we can do reaction fire now. 
<clears throat> Let's go one more. Alrighty. And I kind of want to just hang out right here and keep an eye on this cave. Okay, go ahead and scoot up. Hold off one more turn. A bit here. Dog. Ah. All right. How far can we see? All right. Let's scoot up one more. I'm gonna hope the dog can react well enough. If it, uh, if the zombie gets within range. But his reactions should definitely take care of it. You could even do that just in case. So we could see that far. Well, I don't know how we have an angle on that, but regardless, we can at least shoot here, and I think that'll be good enough. All right, let's see what happens. Cool. No, he didn't. Okay. I just couldn't see him. Alright, let's continue on. I think Robert can go ahead and watch over this guy. <laughs> Maybe. Let's scoop back just in case. Zombies, not bad. 
good reactions. Trouble in Ski Resort. Mm. I don't know. I don't really think I want to handle a mission like that. We'd have spy pistols. It'd be better than nothing. <sighs> Use throwing knives. Hmm. Well, I say skip it. I don't really want to mess with that. Hopefully that doesn't cost us too many points. And I'm just going to go back to saving on this file. XCOM Virtualized Headquarters. 50 days. An improvement of the standard HQ operating with a state-of-the-art AI core. It's more efficient research facil facility allows for one additional scientist, and its machine learning capabilities allow for better analysis of UFO sightings, meaning more efficient detection. It is required for certain advanced facilities. This facility can be built as normal or over a standard HQ. Excuse me. Oh, okay. After another floater leader. And then let's go ahead and get uh, these built or started. Oh, that's. So we have to stop researching in order to build it. Let's see if that'll do it. At least I think. Is it because I have things being researched, period, that I can't build it? Well, I don't want to lose those, so let's knock all these out real quick. <laughs> that one's going to take a while. Uh, this one, I don't even have one. Okay, that's weird. So why can this one do it? I don't know. Yeah, this one has radar to it. Oh boy. Nice. 
return to base, and we'll go ahead and send the Sky Marshal out. Oh, hope I was set up. <laughs> Pretty sure I am. One edge. The other one. Here's the corner, so... Eh, alright. Oh, we do see someone. Alrighty. to that. Hundred thirteen. Hi, nice shooting. Probably take a step. Plasma pistol. It shouldn't do too much damage if he does react. This way. Not really. Right, I think we're safe uh, pulling a couple people out right here. We don't have to open the door next turn. Dog, come out. Alrighty. Let's go one more turn without coming out, and the next turn we'll set up for reaction fire. We'll try to see if we can get them to burn time units trying to get to us. Comes out right here. Don't think he'll have a shot, but if he floats up, he should. Spread these guys out a little bit. Ah, love those graphics. <laughs> um, yeah, we 
we could bring this guy out too. We'll have everybody waiting. There's the motion scanner. Looking for someone that had that readily available. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Go ahead and duck down just in case. Wow. Okay, right there and right there. They are not moving. <laughs> All right. We'll start coming around and I think we're gonna attack through the door. Let's see if we can spot this section a little bit better. Okay. That's actually good. I was hoping that was intact, because if we come in this way, um, we'll at least have a little bit of cover, perhaps. Especially since I'm pretty sure that's a wall. So, it'll be harder to get to us. So, that's pretty good. Tell if there's wall there. I think it'd be better if I stood right here, but if they if they came like right here. Like I don't I don't know if they can shoot right here. I don't think so. Get ready to break in there. And that's risky what I'm doing. facing away. That's good. Oh. Ah! There you go. Nice. Very nice. Plus one melee. There we go. Good deal. Gotta get that 83% a lot higher. Thank you. 
Yeah, good enough for now. Okay, sentient algorithms. The Kirukai somehow made a series of breakthrough in advanced programming, such as evolving algorithms and neural networks. This has allowed them to create polymorphic software based on self-rearranging nanoparticles, forming a brain-like structure. It is capable of learning and self-programming, therefore adapting to previous experiences. It can be employed in a variety of technologies like robots or intelligent weapon systems. Hmm. All right, scientists in here. Okay, that's right, yeah. The Katanite. They are a sturdy alien race, very well suited for menial work and harsh environmental conditions. They prefer to live in underground compounds and would be harmed by sunlight, if not for their ocular implants. Their intelligence is average, but they are far or they are more than capable of waging a war against mankind. Hyperwaves. Aliens can convert energy into exotic waves which travel through a medium that can only be described as hyperspace. They are in fact tachyons, which technically travel back in time, but some unknown laws of physics prevent them from causing a temporal paradox and destroying causality. These waves allow for instantaneous two-way communication over large distances, including interstellar. Oh boy. Hyperwave decoder. Alright. Uh, Alright, Snake Man Engineer. Tractor Beam Generator. This large-scale device is used in alien bases to assist large UFOs with precise landing. It employs artificial gravity to decrease and otherwise manipulate the mass of large obje objects up to 400 meters away. It is, however, Far too bulky to be mounted on any flying craft, even the largest UFOs, and therefore provides no advantage to our troops. I'd imagine for now. Okay. So let's try building this again. Okay, now we can do it. So... I guess because we had a research topic being done and it was designated for that building that that's why we couldn't build over it. Because I'd imagine now, yep, we're five short. So that's the key. Alright, well, uh, so one of these must still be... Designated on that, I guess. Yep. Wonder which one has it. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Actually, one thing I'm forgetting. Agents aren't a separate listing. Uh, well, DOS was doing pretty good. Did 
Do we get... Okay, we got one gym done. So we could do... I guess nine more agents. Well, now, now we're gonna need a bunch of equipment. Grenades, we could do some of those. Probably that. Um, just look through the list. I think it would just be easier doing it like that. Uh, medical stuff I'm going to need. That would actually be kind of nice. Um, shooting down the corridor and just like spraying down down the corridor. I think that'd be hopefully a good idea. I don't know if I'm going to need high explosives for base defense. Probably not. Probably use stems. I will do twenty. Do these. Enhanced medical bags. Probably get some of those. Well, you don't need that many. Come on. Yeah. All right, and then we need to manufacture a ton of items. Let's start with ammo. Uh, let's cut that roughly in half. Okay. Uh, this base. Probably work on armor. And let's do twenty. Oh, 
Oh, that guy finished his mission. Okay. Doss. Go, Captain. Oh, he still has his armor. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to be real nice flying that craft. Okay, transfer those over. Um... What else do I need? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple of those. Do two. Rockets. Probably like 30. Okay. Medikit. Alright, so... Something that we had in vanilla, we finally have now. And this one is 10 uses. And health recovery of 3. So we definitely want to upgrade to this now. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> oh, we need to see... Can we do this? How quickly can we do this? 420 hours. Divide by 40. That's roughly like... 10 hours per med kit. About 10 and a half. Advanced rocket launcher. 125 damage. Nice. Utilizing the alien electronics, the advanced rocket launcher can be aimed faster than the original design and is able to fire guided missiles. So it's about 10% more accurate and 5% less time units cost, so. Two more pounds. Well, that's probably because of the rocket, I guess. Oh no, those are the same. Never mind. Valeria missiles and mind guided missiles. Well, I mean, I guess this is. If we're gonna use rocket launchers, we might as well upgrade to this to get that little bit of bonus. Although, I don't think it's quite a priority. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're on this base now. Uh, this one's going to be med kits as well. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Oops. I think... I think I have the ability to do that? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> probably send a little bit over.
Okay, we'll do that. And actually, this base has to sell a little bit. Well, don't have much to sell. Oh, we need to repair that too. Hey, I still have the 22 silos that are destroyed. <laughs> Can't research it. Okay, that's done. Rockets are being built. What's next? I could probably do some smart magnums. Maybe a couple of those. Wow. Two hours left. Make eight. Forgetting to rename this one. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Oh shoot. Destroyed. <laughs> hey. Pickups are not applicable. Okay, much better. Nice. Strange life form. Oh boy. <clears throat> There's one edge. There's the other, so we're pretty much in the middle again. And we're dealing with rats. Hey, dude. Got about the dog again. <laughs> Oops. All right. Try that again.
We need 14, so we can step here and turn. There might be something in here. Wouldn't be surprised. And we'll, we'll bring one more guy, like, right here. And then point him this way just in case something does come out. And, you know, with their uh, wonderful reactions, they don't hit it or shoot at it. Spotted another guy. Oh, nice. Okay. Now let's, let's step out right there. That way these guys can come out. That one you can actually see, but we're gonna do reactions on it. Okay. Throw the knife. Okay. Ah! There was a guy in there. But for some reason it thought the tank was a better option. It's dead. Alrighty. There was another one right there. Oh, no tritanium charges. Oh, well. Maybe next time. have another one down this way. Whoa! Was, uh, slightly off. Um, yeah, it's right, like, see a pixel of it right there uh, okay well that guy can throw pretty far that's good Wow. That missed. What? Okay, there we go. Then this guy. Reaction fire. Okay. Oh, nice. Plus four to stamina. Or strength. Strength. Okay, no throwing accuracy. That's a bummer. Very nice. Okay, smart magnum's done. Uh, we need to do... 
drums for it now. Rockets are done. Okay, what next? Not sure I'm gonna need stun rods. I could try to get commanders and base defenses, but I'm not planning on getting very many of those. This is just kind of just in case before I get defenses up. Guess I could get a sword or two. Go with a couple of these. I really like these weapons. Rin Tin Tin. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I need to check thigh strength first. Oh, nice. Hey. No strength, though. Jeez. Oh, 99. Very nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, I guess. I will still do four for now. Oh, those are done. Work on the Asuka 4000 ammo. Forty of those, just in case. Cool. Ooh, tactical sniper rifle is almost tempting, except. Having to move back and forth, I wouldn't be able to kneel all the time. And there goes a lot of accuracy. So I don't think it's going to be worth it in this base. Uh, the smart shotgun might actually be a good idea. I, I'd like to just look at it, please. Yeah, let's build a couple of those too. Why not? Floater leader. Okay, the floaters. Uh, pretty much the same thing as vanilla. Ugh. The Nephilim. In ancient times, aliens also visited the Earth. Like today, they mixed alien DNA with humans, creating hybrids. A notable difference from our case is that the DNA came mostly from ethereals, not sectoids. Excuse me. These hybrids were intelligent, psionically gifted, and had an unusually long lifespan. However, they seem to have been abandoned by their alien masters, or perhaps they rebelled. In any case, 
They went to live with ancient humans and often became their leaders. They might even be the source of human psi potential. We don't know what happened to them, but there's a possibility they are still around, pulling the string strings from these shadows. Who knows? That's pretty cool. What base is this? Okay. Hyperwave decoder, let's knock that out. Cool. So we didn't have to do the whole 50 days, just the 10. That's cool. Um, oh, we can start doing these now. Smart shotgun's done. So let's do ammo for this smart shotgun. I think I'm gonna just do the titanium shells. I want that bigger damage. Cult outpost detected? What? Who is this? Exalt? Alright, let's go ahead and switch on over. Sort by firing accuracy. We're gonna want this guy at the front. And let's get someone else really accurate towards the front as well. Uh, maybe even one more person. Okay, and then let's have... People in the back have these. Maybe even someone in the front. <laughs> let's try that out. <laughs> All right, let's give you one as well. Okay. Everything else fine. Someone needs to carry a flashlight. <sighs> okay, I think we're good. Oh, um, med kits. Okay, we have five, that's good. Should probably actually give it to some of the weaker people. Actually, do something like this now. Now he can have a med kit. There we go. And it's on the belt.
Sweet. Okay. It's very dark now. Alright, let's blow these guys up real quick. I hope. We should be good. Wow. Okay, there's one edge. Here's the other. That goes on for a ways. <laughs> Oh, okay, here it is. There's their compound. So the compound is actually kind of far away. Okay. Take another peek. Wow. That is impressive. Huh. It looks like I slipped up a bit then, because I should have been doing this. expect the compound to be like across the map for me. Got this lady. Out of range. Okay, that's too far. Can you just imagine, like, if the roles were were reversed, and like the hidden movement screen was up on like turn two, and then all of a sudden grenades get tossed at you? Yeah, not cool. All right, how far can we throw this thing? Close enough. Get over here. All right, let's get closer. Now let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five. He's pretty well within the blast radius. Don't know if they have any missiles in there. I'm not sure on this map. Ooh. Want to try that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, well. That was a heck of a shot. 
Good rolls. <laughs> well. You know what? I want to throw this up here because I have a feeling that there is something or someone up here. Just try to take care of that now. I don't think the fire will really expose us. I don't think. Okay, and that's plenty far away. Let's... Yeah, I was thinking maybe a smoke grenade would be a good idea, but... Oh, Robert Neal does have one. Alright, just in case... That grenade didn't hit that guy. That hill blocked it. Okay. Nice. Let's see if we can avoid destroying that uh, electro flare. Alright, never mind. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, we really lit, lit these guys up. Just enough. We get there? Yes, perfect. Cool, and the tank will just kind of sit right here and draw fire, hopefully. Uh, dog, just kind of look over this way. Oh, wow. The mountain went all the way around. Okay. We need to shoot that guy on the left. Mm. Of course, that smoke's not going to help.
Let's go ahead and disable this now. Oh, did we hit that guy in the back? Oh. <laughs> no, but we hit the wall behind him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These guys might get hit, but I think that wall's gonna stop it. Hmm. Wow. Uh, let's disable this too. He's kneeling, so we could stand behind him. Jeez. That was a real good hit. Alright, he's bleeding pretty good, so I'm satisfied with that. Let's go ahead and scoot up some more. Oh, uh, go ahead and hang out right here, I guess. Um, let's go here. Okay. Alright, I think that's good. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. We did get that guy. Got him. I think they're missing the tank, but they're hitting my guys in the back. Or close to it. Man, this guy's still standing. Eggs altar uh of cookies. Not seen any missiles, guys. Not yet, at least. All right, so let's uh, have James Webb take a shot. Okay. Very nice. Interested in that. I want this guy to kind of scout. Okay, do you still have a shot? Whoa! <laughs> well, still. Jeez. Ah, oh, there we go. That was way off. Hmm. Three, seven. Okay. Alright, landed right in front of him, but that's close enough. Is the fire gone? Not yet. Ah! 
Finally. Jeez. Dang. Right in the face. Or not. Okay, never mind. Looked like it hit him in the face. Alright, that's probably it for this turn. I'm not going to pull out the uh, pistol guys just yet. Looks like there aren't too many guys left. Probably just have to kill one or two more high ranking, and we'll probably get a surrender. We can get another uh, electro flare out there. Whoa, what was that? Web is on fire. Um. Hmm. Hate to do that, but. Six. Oh, we're not going to even get this out this turn. Well, maybe. Probably not. Oh, nice. That had to have been an underhand toss. Alright, shooting one of these two will, will probably kill the other. Uh, okay, that was close. I mean, it still may have. I guess now we won't know. And that's it. Okay. Still no throwing accuracy. Yeah. Alrighty, that was pretty decent. 
Now, let's see, North America. We're still making the med kits. Let's see, that's done. What next? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this. Not for base defense. Maybe I should go multi-launcher? Proxy grenades would be all right. Um, I think I'm gonna take a short break, guys. I need to use the restroom, and um, I'm gonna grab a quick snack. But I should be gone for more than like five or ten minutes, so bear with me for just a moment. I'll be right back.